goalkeeper is short. Eh? <laughs> the goalkeeper is short. Eh? Both of them, eh? check that. <laughs> A very good afternoon to one and all as we welcome you here to Constantine Park in East Trinidad where we're getting ready for the first game of a doubleheader here today on a fairly dry surface but I suppose that's standard across the nation at this point. Uh, so you expect it to be a little bit on the bumpy side because it's such a dry surface uh, which can make ball control very difficult for these youngsters, many of them who are still learning the rudiments of the game, uh, some probably a little more advanced than others, uh, individual as well as collectively. And uh, so we see how it works. So Emmanuel Shamley. For Queen's Park Cricket Club and of course, Jinga. FC. Uh, the ones in the red, Queen's Park in the all the blue and black strip, the dark blue outfit. So they no doubt will be trying to lift themselves off the bottom of this group. This is group A. And as it is right now, they are still winless in this particular group. And something that I'm sure they will want to address. Trentsetter Hawks are the current leaders, but... Jinga are right behind them and they'll be hoping to continue their winning ways to keep the pressure on the unbeaten Trentsetter Hawks as well. So a lot at stake in this encounter. So this is just no ordinary game for both teams as they try to lift themselves for different reasons, so to speak. Seven points to Trentsetter Hawks and Jinga on four. The same as FC Santa Rosa Creek and they come next. So there is the whistle to start proceedings in well we thought they'd gotten the whistle. So there it is now, officially, that is the start of the ball and an early ball played forward here. Queen's Park now trying to get the better there, but this is good defensive work. And uh, here they come, here comes the Jenga outfit. Allen, very smooth with his dribbling skills. Trying to get control of the ball early. And it's played in the middle, but it's controlled right in the middle of the park. Lovelace now plays a nice little ball down that right-hand side. Manswell is after it. And, but he gets a second bite of the cherry. And uh, they decide that they will start it all over again. Early ball inside. And again, they're aiming to get it. Here's a shot. And uh, just not able to control the effort there, Lovelace. Chamele was the one with the header back to him but the ball again bounces a little bit awkwardly and that's to be expected on such a dry surface and it's really going to be a challenge for some of these youngsters but let's see how they do and again they give the ball away and now they decide that they're going to try to control it early o'clock and you could just see the control early trying to control it early Early ball over the top and immediately racing after it, there's Alain. He is coming under some pressure and uh, nicely controlled. And uh, Geiger trying to, uh, trying to get control of the ball in the middle of the park here. Now it's Luisa and uh, it's one back now. Here is Chamley for Queen's Park. But he can control it properly and it's taken away from him. It's just nipped away from him quickly. Good ball in. This is good control. Here's a shot over the bar. That's good power. But again, Gomez, Christian Gomez showing that he does have the range 
He just couldn't get that one to come down, but hit with good power. And went flying over the bar on that occasion. So no goals yet in this encounter. This is the first of a doubleheader here. As they try to sort themselves out here, the ball just keeps running away from them. Queen's Park nil, Jinga nil. Queen's Park in their all blue outfits, not able to get it out as quickly as or as long as far as they would like. And the control there just not what was expected from the four. And, uh, but they may still get a, another bite at the cherry. And Chamley does well, gets the ball in. And uh, they're trying to turn with it now. Loveless plays it across. Queen's Park trying to keep control of the ball, but the ball is just bouncing up on them. And that's a ball played deep. It could go towards the goalkeeper, but he's not going to come for it. And they allow it to run over to the outside. It's going to be a goal kick to Jinga. Second on the table right now, but they need a win to keep the pressure on the Trentsetter Hawks. Good control again by Gomez. Here they are trying to keep possession. Now Jinga. Lovely ball. The control though, just not there. However, they still have possession. Showing good patience. And uh, trying to play the ball forward here, but it's, it won nicely. Chemley does well, gets it back to Loveless. He has a shot, but it's blocked. And immediately now, Gomez plays a ball. That's a good ball. And uh, he's off to the races here. This could be interesting. An opportunity here now. Can he get the ball across? Trying to. And uh, not able to get around it. Niels. Goes behind. It's going to be... Uh, Goal kick this time to Queen's Park at the other end. The Park Heights. Trying the ball again is played upfield. But this is where Jinga have been very successful. Showing good patience. And again, the control of the ball, not very good, but. Again, it's just bunks in a way. And uh, there's a little nudge in the back there. A little too physical from Harrigan. They're thinking about it there, uh, Barker. And uh, again, but it was always going to be difficult to get it. You're trying to get it to Gomez there. Loveless intercepts. And uh, he sent it out to Manswell. But Manzuel can't keep it in. Ball flicked inside nicely. And uh, Niels now plays the ball forward. Has a good opportunity for Alain. Alain turning, twisting. Trying to get it in behind. And uh, still not able to get the handle on it. Uh, but doing very well indeed. And uh, shielding off the ball nicely. And uh, controlling the ball. That's good football again from Alain. He is brought down, but he may get a second bite of the cherry. And uh, solid defensive work here by Shaw. Lucas Shaw for Queen's Park. Trying to help out. Uh, he, he has his hands full with Alain. So it's a throw in. It, it was on the field, actually. He's mashing the line. Uh, trying his best to control it, but not able to keep it in. There was uh, Nadim Grant. Ball yeah. played back inside, still going with it. And so that's going to be a free kick to Queen's Park, I think it is. Actually, no, it's a free kick to Jinga. Thought for a moment he was giving it to Queen's Park. But once again, it's going to be Barker. Floated it to the back post. The header is up there and uh, not able to control it as Edwards. But a nicely floated ball in by Barker. Edwards rising the highest 
not able to control his header. Uh, but again, you could see that the Jinga team, they have a, a pretty good idea of where they want to go with the ball, where their strengths are. Ball played in the middle here again is that early, that early ball forward. Alain decides he's going to go back with it now. It's back there with Jackson. He gets it in the middle of the park, but they decide to go further back with it. And there is the big fella, Edwards, who had that header a short while ago, but didn't control it then. And again, the ball just rising on everyone. And it's going to be very difficult for these youngsters to control the ball under these surfaces. And uh, here they are again. Lovely ball played over. And uh, he just put his hands on him and then he comfortably played it out. Alain with the throw quickly for Jinga, trying to turn his man. Now he gets a chance to put the ball back in the middle. Still picking it up. There's an early shot, but it's blocked nicely. Helped on quickly again. Harrigan. Gomez trying to turn it inside. Mig still have possession, still dribbling, still going. And uh, here's a shot now, but again, it's over the bar. Again, making good progress, but uh, Luisa not able to get on top of it. And uh, cracked it over the bar. So we're just about approaching nine minutes gone in this contest, still no goals. The ball inside, still battling for it. And uh, that's a good ball played over the top now. It's going to be a foot race. Manswell is quick, uh, but he's trying to get there. The ball is thrown in quickly. Or is it a free kick? I think he might have given a free kick. No, he gave a throw in, but uh, they threw the ball. The referee somehow decided to stop playing and give it the limb trade all over. Nice ball played over there. And... Uh, Easy ball played forward, but again, it's given away. Chris Park now trying to get some numbers forward and uh, not able to get the handle on it there. Grant was just trying to slip his man. It's back in the middle of the park now with Shaw. He is looking left side, trying to get it to Grant, but he can't get it. That's another ball played forward. And uh, they decide that they're going to keep possession of it. Ball play forward. Grant can control it. And it goes out. It's going to be Jinga's ball. I'm not sure if it went out for a throw, you know, if it's going to be a goal kick. Uh, Looked like it went out, so it's going to be a goal kick for Jinga. Remember, these are 17 minute games, so these are the 15s. And. Uh, So now we have the goalkeeper leaving it, so the big supper can get it up. And now Gomez, that's a good ball. She's on to, to the races. Can't get, uh, can't keep it though. He's trying to get away from his man. Still going, looking for some movement. Decides to go back with it, and he ends up making a good pass. Loveless, doing well. Now they're just trying to slip the ball forward, losing the handle on it. The racing going forward there, but. Again, good anticipation coming over and getting the tacklers. Harrigan was trying to advance the ball down that left-hand side for Queen's Park. So that's going to be a foul throw. Um, again, if you don't correct it at this stage, they're going to just keep doing it later on. So the referees are well within their rights to pull them up. And again, those sort of narrow surface passes are going to land these youngsters in trouble every time because he's putting his instep to hit it. And the instep is one of the, is a bone there. So the ball, if it just hits at the wrong angle, it's going to hit firmly and it's going to go away from you. Again, you look at that flick, or that attempted flick, and they can't get the handle on it. They, they need to just use the wider surface to make the pass as opposed to just trying to flick it 
and uh, they're running into problems because they're not able to keep the ball in. There's another foul throw. So once that foot, that back leg is raised, the, the referee's assistant will raise the flag and the referee will have no choice but to blow the whistle. Because he too is spotting the infringement. Here's the ball now. Fagan trying to run with it, not able to. Early ball in, intercepted. A Harrigan plays a lovely ball over. And, uh, but it's picked up in the middle of the park. Here they come again. Uh, trying to dribble with it, but losing the handle. Can he get the shot off? Thinking about it, decides he's going to play it wide. And uh, now he runs into some problems out there. Manswell can't turn with it. He does well, but then eventually he's crowded out. And uh, Jenga is coming forward again. Look at the speed of Gomez. He's looking to take on his mind. He's gone past him beautifully. Can he get the cross in now? Low and hard, but well defended. Anticipating that cross very nicely indeed was uh, Simon Thompson. Intercepting it before it got into the actual heart of the goal. Where it would have been creating some problems. Two attackers were two red shirts were in there waiting. So still no goals in this encounter. 13, almost 14 minutes gone so far. Nil-nil, the scoreline here between Jinga FC and Queen's Park. Ball played in. The goalkeeper comes off the bar and he used his hands. And uh, the bounce of the ball really did him in there. But that was such a, a well-taken curling effort coming in and just not able to get it under the bar. Baka again getting the handle on it hit it well but not able to, to get it under the bar. It got past the keeper and now this is going to be a bit of a foot race here. There are problems here to play those short passes that much too close to each other to play those passes and as a result because the ball is so hard and it's difficult to control it they're having problems with those, that distance just not ideal he's probably better off just playing it back to the goalkeeper one and have to keep him make the clearance uh, but when the two stoppers are trying to play like that uh, it's very difficult because they're both facing their own goal so that could be a, a, a real dicey situation for them. All the same, it's going to be another corner kick to Queen's Park. Low, but bouncing awkwardly. And then now it's being played forward, but they may still get a chance at it here. Niels comes across and just not able to keep it in. Gomez. That's great, a good take, an excellent take indeed. Now he's trying to play it down the, the left, right hand side, but coming across and intercepting. Playing the ball forward. And right there to have control of it. Still trying to go and, and go past another one. And then he runs out of real estate there. Nadim Grant doing his bit down that left hand side, but just running out of room to run there. He really wanted to stretch his legs. He'd gone past two defenders and was looking to really get some room. And then he ran out of space. The goalkeeper, uh, I think the referee is going to have a word with his assistant. And they're going to do a water break at this time. So we're just about 16, 16 and a half minutes gone. Um, they decided that they'll give these youngsters a nice little refreshment break. But good stuff so far in this one with Jinga probably creating more opportunities. And, but they don't have anything to show for it just yet. They hit the bar, they hit over the bar a couple of times, uh, but nothing on target just yet.
so we're getting ready for the resumption here. It's going to be a goal kick to Jinga. So it's Jinga nil, Queen's Park nil. Loveless trying to turn with it now, decides to play to Louison. Louison plays a good ball, trying to get it over the top here and uh, just not able to get it. A little bit of a push there and uh, not able to get the handle on it. So goalkeeper Cody Lee there coming into play, making a good stop and now it's a big battle there in the middle. And another opportunity quickly here for Niels to get down that left-hand side. Very skillful young man, taking his time, looking for something. And he decides to go back with it. Loveless turns nicely back inside. Drift past another one and uh, not able to really get it. Or Defoe, that is. Still trying. He's back now. They're trying to get it up there for Nadim. Uh, but uh, not able to, to get it up to him quickly. Nadim Grant trying to use his speed. There's another one played over, and uh, this time nobody able to track it down. They were a little bit late in starting, but it was not a bad idea. Gomez trying to switch the play quickly. He had two red shirts on this side, but neither one of them really looked like they wanted to do the run. Zuid Alain and Antoine Luzon coming for the ball again. Trying to run with it. Losing the handle on it. There they come once more. Looking for some movement. Losing the handle, but still battling for it. And uh, now they're trying their best here to get control of the ball in midfield. And it's a real dog fight in there, and it's dusty, and uh, it's tough. Referee allowing play to continue, and uh, just tripping over himself. And there's a great ball. The goalkeeper is going to have to come, and uh, he anticipated well, trying to to get there, but big kick downfield. Uh, not wasting any time there, Xavier. Control quickly, sing. That's a good ball. And that could be problems here now. Alain. Good cover by Simon Thompson. Coming across and with the interception there. So, Chris Park with those two quick wingers hoping to really hit them hard early. With those early balls out. Now, look as one Manswell. He is looking for some running room, plays a ball. That's a tough ball there because not able to catch up with it. There is Rue. And uh, the ball is out for throwing quickly taken. Here they come again. Defoe plays it back. It's back in the middle of the park here. They have it with Louison turning, looking for something forward. Decides he's going to go back with it. And uh, now trying to dribble his way out of danger. Gets it as well. Now they're playing it way over to the front. Back up, plays it back inside. It goes back to Jackson. Jackson decides to bring it forward to four. Can't control it, but still battling for it. A little bit of a high kick in there. And uh, it's going to be a free kick. I suppose it could have gone either way, but the referee booed against Queen's Park. And that was one again intended for Gomez, uh, but he can't get the handle on it. Never had a chance, really. Still no goals. Another ball played back inside Gomez, trying to get the hand at Defoe. Does well. Plays a nice little ball inside, looking for something. Not much there. And uh, again, now they're going to get the handle on it again in the middle of the park. Defoe plays it well. Now they get it to Gomez, but he's so strong. Turns one man. He's being hammered in the back, but uh, the referee does give a free kick. Reagan Rode, the guilty man there. 
He has his hands full with Gomez on that left-hand side. Gomez is so skillful. So it's going to be a free kick, and now they've sent, what, six red shirts close to the area. Ball played up, and it's headed. The goalkeeper is there, and uh, he bubbles it, but eventually he recovers. But then he plays the ball back, and it's, he, it's, uh, it, it's much too easy. Eventually, they want to get it out here to Grant. Grant plays it inside, and that's going to be a tough one. Eventually, cleared away. So another throw into Queen's Park. So good end to end stuff here now. The Parkers trying to hit quickly. And that could easily have been a, considered a foul throw, but the referee allowed play to go. Now, there's another opportunity here now. This could be another opportunity here. What does he do? Turns onto his right foot. That's a crack over the bar. Elijah Niels turned one way, then the next. But he really could have gone to the goal first time and opted to take his time. And by the time he turned back onto his right foot, hit it over the bar. You might get another bite of the cherry here. Now here is Niels again, trying to get control. Decides to play it back inside. They do have possession. Barker. Barker looking for something. Forward, nothing there. Decides to go back with it. And Barker again with possession. Still being harassed. Does well. So the referee trying to stamp it out early. Grant was just nibbling at his heels there. Barker, of course, is a key part for the Jingas outfit. But this so too is Jackson. Can he deliver a good ball? No red shirt there. And uh, it's picked up nicely. But they still have opportunity there. Here's Maharaj. Plays the ball into Gomez. Gomez is being harassed at the back, but he does well. Gets it away. Defoe plays it nicely inside. Louison back to goes to Defoe. Looks up and see there's there. Gomez is racing on the left hand side, but he's offside. Can't get the handle on it. But that's good football, though, from Jinga. And, uh, but Gomez might have just left a little too early. Uh, but it was one beautiful weighted pass, beat the entire defense. And, uh, but Gomez was just a little bit ahead of everyone at the time. Nil-nil, the scoreline here still in this encounter. Almost 25 minutes gone now. Manswell can't get the handle on it. They're still battling for it. Still they battle for it, trying to get it. And Manswell will come back and get it. He wants to run with it. And... Uh, but not able to do so just yet anyway. Jackson, that's a good ball. And uh, this is going to be a foot race. But look at the box. That ball took a wicked hop. Still going. Still going. But he over pushes it here. And uh, the goalkeeper comes and claims it. Goalkeeper Lee coming out and uh, making... Jackson again. And... Uh, Opportunity to get it upfield, sure. And there's the four trying to get the handle on it. Manswell, though, can't control it. Now it's with Gomez. This could be problems here because he's so strong and not able to control that one, though. Louison comes all the way out here on this left hand side now to Alain. Alain looking for some Louison, looking for something. The four, or rather, Barker, place it to the four now. The four looking for Gomez. Maraj. To Gomez this time and he again can't control it and uh, doing well but not able to get the ball the handle on it a little bit of a nudge there can they get the shot off no Barker still trying to control it they still have possession Luizo turning twisting back it goes inside still has possession still dribbling robbed of it now trying to come away with it quickly with an opportunity to play it forward and uh, not able to do so that's good defending and they give it right back. So, Queen's Park with a chance now to come forward with it. So, another opportunity for a throw in here. So, quickly, uh, substitution for Jinga.
On is the number nine, Kimani Hazel. He comes on for Baka. A little bit of hole in there. The referee right on spot. Referee Caldwell Orr. Right on top of things there, not allowing the players to get away with too much. This is a dangerous ball. And now there's a chance here, but again, Gomez not able to control it. Still they have possession. Can they play the ball forward? Can he get the cross in? And just wide. Mirage streaming down that left hand side, tried to get it over. I don't think he hit it properly, and uh, it just sailed past the keeper, but it also beat the back post. And that's good football. Now the four, can he get the shot? Still going. Now he's brought down. That's going to be a free kick, and I think Gomez is going to line this one up. Darren Defoe did very well. And once he was able to control the ball, dribble past the defender, it was always going to be a tall order for them. So now Gomez lines this one up. The big fella does have a powerful shot. I wouldn't want to be in that wall, especially if he's going straight to goal. Because that could be, now, why is everybody on the goal line? Uh, because this is going to be one powerful shot. I suppose they need reinforcements back there as well. But they're playing everybody on side with that. But if I'm one of the attackers, I'll go and stand up right next to the goalkeeper because there are two defenders back there as well. There's a shot low and hard off the crossbar and then cleared away. Gomez again trying to get there, not able to do that. And there's a push in the area. The referee says play on, or does he? Yes, he does say play on, but that was dicey because that could so easily have been a penalty there. And uh, he looked at it, looked at it, and then he decided against blowing the whistle. So still with possession, Queen's Park under a little bit of pressure here. It's a nice little ball played inside, and it's played forward. Alendo can't run that down, and it's gone out for a goal kick. So still no goals. Uh, Jinga hit the bar twice already, but they can't get the ball in. So the Parkites, really they're trying to free up their two wingmen. Grant on one side, Manswell on the other side. Not able to really get the ball out. Allen again, turn one way. Now he's gonna turn past his man. Thinks about it, does well, goes past one. Can he get the cross in? Tries to, and then it's won a corner. That's good defending, though, uh, by Lucas Shaw. He didn't give up on it at all. Although he was beaten on a couple of occasions, he still fought back and uh, ended up denying the cross. So another opportunity here now for Jinga to try to get one in before the interval. We have about four minutes or so left in this first half. About 31, 30 minutes, almost 31 minutes gone. Queen's Park under some pressure here. They need to defend this. Here is the substitute Hazel. Oh, that's very long. And it's beyond everybody. Actually, I'm not sure they could keep that in. And uh, not even the tall figure there of Edwards could get to that one. That was hit with real pace. And uh, now here is Gomez. Does well. Gets inside of it. Plays it inside again. Defoe still trying to get it. Manzel plays it back inside. That's good football. And uh, Manzel can he keep it in. Tries to shape his man, but Mirage is there. And uh, But I think that should be Queen's Park ball. I don't know if there's much of a debate. Ball thrown in. Manzel again trying to turn with it. And using his hand, says the referee. Manzel is not happy because he didn't think he played it with his hand. There's another one played forward. This could be problems here. The goalkeeper, can he get there? The ball is played forward. He does well. He got a touch on it. Didn't stop it cleanly, but he took all the pace out of it. 
and then eventually completed the save. Nice ball. D4 again. Back in the middle it goes. Luizor plays inside. Hazel does well. Back it goes to Luizor. Turns nicely. Looking for Gomez. Out on that far side. Gomez trying to turn his man. Does well. Skips one. Plays the ball over on that far side. Goes to the return ball. That's tough. And uh, it should have been played ahead of him. But nevertheless, they had it. But Gomez is offside. And uh, the referee's assistant had the flag up. But again, good football from Jinga. They just can't seem to, just that final pass, they're unable to really get to complete the deal. Here they come again. That's opportunity for a shot wide of the mark. Again, Niels creating space there, but not able to get it on target. So 33 minutes gone, just about two minutes before the interval. Shaw Queens Park would be happy to go in with a nil-nil scoreline and do an assessment, give the players additional instructions. I think the referee's assistant won the ball inside the, the, the line. It's a little bit outside. So I think they're happy now. So it's a nice, well, it's a, I, I want to say it's a sunny day, but it's not because that's a hard dust. It's really just blocking the sun, which is nice and cool for the players. I'm sure they don't mind. The more the merrier. There's a chance he might just nip it away from him. Can Gomez get it now? He's still trying to turn. He is brought down. That's going to be a free kick. Again, he has his hands full out there, Reagan Rowe, with Gomez, the captain for Jinga. Very skillful. He's, apart from being skillful, he's big. So he, he's a sort of a wide body. So he creates a problem for the defenders. Once he gets his body between, he has a nice ball in. The goalkeeper is coming, does well. Again, they can't get the ball out, and he has a chance here now to run forward with it. And the ball is eventually played, and Jinga gets possession. Once again, Hazel plays an early ball inside. Luis are there, trying to get the handle on it. Can't. They, they were trying to play the early ball in, and they eventually play it. They're going to allow it to run out the field. No, he does. He decides to play it upfield. It's still back as, the, as far as the four. Hazel trying to get there. He can't. Man's well out this time. Turns, slips his man nicely. A sombrero gets possession. Looking to dribble now to go down that line and takes it off the field. So he just... He did well to control the ball. Got the one-on-one -on -one situation that he wanted but wasn't able to really take advantage. Nice ball slipped inside. Again, aiming at Manzuel. Manzuel does well, plays it inside, but this one is played upfield. This could be problems here. The goalkeeper is going to have to come. He decides to wait, and then eventually Lee comes off his line to make the stop. And once the ball bunks, it's going to be a wicked hop. That's a errant pass, but Luckily for Queen's Park, it works out well. Another awkward bounce for them, but they're still going to be able to track it down there quickly. Ball played into touch, so because the ball bounces is so high and uh, it, it's difficult for these players. But that's the half in this encounter, so goalless at the half. And I'm sure Queen's Park will be thankful for that as they go into the half not having not conceded remember they've played two but they've lost two so far conceded five and have scored just the one goal so far so so far so good for them i'm sure jenga must be thinking how do we get the ball in the back of the net they struck the bar twice hit over bar a couple of times and hit wide on a couple of occasions as well so they've had opportunities they just haven't been able to take them and goalkeeper cody lee has accredited himself very well. So that's the situation at the half. It is still Queen's Park nil, Jinga nil. For second half action now. And uh, here we go in this encounter. Still no goals. And uh, Jinga trying to get possession, keep possession. That's a bad giveaway. And uh, unfortunately, not really made to pay. At least not just yet, anyway. And uh, substitute. Trying to get the ball over, that's not a bad ball, that's a goal, oh, he's hit the bar, and it goes on top of the net. Really, a great opportunity here. The ball slammed across the face of the goal, 
and a good opportunity for them to put the ball in the back of the net, unable to do so. Kumani Campbell, the substitute. So again, Queen's Park coming out here with a renewed fight now as they try to get themselves cracking. Christoph Bovell, and here is problems for them and uh, Gomez just not able to get the handle on it. Ball played inside. And uh, again, it's just that little flick on as uh, they're trying to get the ball up and not able to do it. Another ball played along the ground and uh, ball played forward once more. Queen's Park now with numbers up. Grant trying to control it but cannot and it's taken away from him. This could be an opportunity here for Jinga. They cut inside. Lovely ball played away. This is Gomez. He's on the move now. Opportunity here and the flag goes up for offside. But again, you could just see the plan. Get the ball across the field to Gomez. Uh, he needs to just hold his run because he's so much quicker than the defenders. He don't need to go that early. Uh, he could even wait and still get to the ball first. Uh, but as he gets older, he would understand that, uh, that he, he doesn't always have to run forward. He could wait and let the ball lead him into where he wants to go. There's Gomez again trying to turn away from the pressure and uh, looking for some movement, not much ahead of him. And uh, they decide to go back with it. And uh, they get possession. And uh, this is where the ball is difficult to control. They, they just play the ball forward. That's a good ball. And uh, turning nicely and getting possession in there. Another one played here is Grant again. Trying to get the ball across, and then it's blocked by the defender. But the goalkeeper shot coming wide of the mark. And uh, Manswell not able to hit it on target. But Queen's Park coming out here with renewed vigor. Taken over the line again by Gomez. Queen's Park coming alive here. They had a great opportunity to open the scoring. And uh, this time the ball goes away. So Kimani Campbell has come on and uh, added some life to proceedings. Another ball played back up in the air, but this time it's hit downfield. And this could be a foot race here now. Battling for it. Still battling. And we have two young two youngsters just walking across the field. <laughs> they are unconcerned about the game being played. And uh, so they are just taking their own sweet time. <laughs> just walking right across the middle of the game. And uh, they're, it's nobody's business. They're not even hustling. Uh, it's just... <laughs> so they are just on their own schedule. It has nothing to do with the game. They're coming to buy snow cones, and that's all that interests them at the moment. Uh, so it's going to be a bump ball. And uh, Ro and Niels, apparently, are the two men involved in it. And he could easily give it to one team and they give it back to the other. I don't think he needs to bump the ball and have them fight for it, but who knows? 
Yes, he's going to bump it and allow them to get position. I thought he was going to give it back, but he's decided to go with it. Here they come again. Another opportunity to get the ball across, and uh, nobody there to take advantage of it. Here they get position again. Ball played away, and uh, this time it's played upfield. Good opportunity for Grant to run again. Does well. And uh, still trying to turn. Can't get the handle. Good recovery here. And uh, taken away from him. But that's good coverage coming across there. Singh. To do the honors. And uh, the return pass on that occasion, not very good. So it still remains goalless between these two teams. Queen's Park at the bottom of the table in this group. FC Jinga in second place on four points. There's a ball played across or attempted to. And uh, here's another opportunity for them to turn with the ball. They get possession now. Hazel plays a lovely ball. That's a good ball. And uh, racing away, racing forward with it now. Can they get the cross in? Let's put it back inside. An opportunity here now for Gomez. Uh, but he makes a meal of it. He got under it and hit it. it obviously, he had more than enough time. He could have taken a touch and then fire away. But opted instead to go first time. Diaz uh, was the one who did who made the dummy and set him up nicely, but he wasn't able to take advantage of it. Louison again on his right foot decide he's gonna go back with it to play the nice ball inside. The fool Hazel back it comes inside. Louison has possession. Lovely football bringing it to the left hand side here now and Good anticipation there, closing down the gap quickly. Maharaj. It's going to be a throw in to Queen's Park, says the referee. Queen's Park looking for something forward. Decide to play back inside. And still trying to run with it. That's the ball played in, but not well executed. He just needs to shield it, and he does. And allowing it to run off the field and into touch. So a chance here now for them to get the ball upfield. Good possession. Trying to turn his mind as well. And uh, just being robbed of it uh, again. Elijah Diaz is coming again. Diaz does well. Cuts inside. Still going. Has possession. Still going. Stick to slip another one and uh, misses out. Early ball. Upfield. And uh, they lose possession. And uh, here they come now. Queen's Park on the move. He should be in an outside position. There's the shot. Straight back to the goalkeeper. Early ball played forward, chance here now, and uh, turning a back from the pressure, doesn't need to, but he decides to, and here's the return ball, deep inside, he's still going forward there, Niels, can't get it, can't keep it in play. So still no goals in this encounter. Uh, surprisingly so because both teams had great opportunities in the first half in particular it was Jinga who struck the bar on a couple of occasions and they hit wide on a couple of occasions they hit high in a couple more times so now they're feeling the heat because Queen's Park uh, came on in the second half so far with a couple of good opportunities of their own and uh, now they have to try to get control of the ball again. Here's an opportunity now for them to get numbers forward. Shot. Score off the bar again. It goes. 
header across the goal, nobody there. And uh, eventually it's cleared away. Good football to keep it and uh, still get in possession. They have possession once more and uh, not able to control it. Plays the ball forward and uh, eventually Singh is there to clear the lines. But Queen's Park again, here's Grant trying to turn, but he is rubbed of it. Louis on a little bit too physical. Queen's Park now on the move. Hazel, though, came back and luckily too, uh, because he had an obvious pass, which he was about to make, and Hazel just stuck a foot in there and kept it away from him. So a chance now for Queen's Park. Can they get something up? Luke trying to hit one up. There's an opportunity now for them to play the ball in. The goalkeeper is there. Hits it against the bar. And the ball. It's going to be a corner kick now. The, the referee's assistant was saying it was a goal, but I don't think the ball went over the line. It's going to be a goal kick. So it's a little bit confusing. Uh, it looked as if the referee's assistant was blowing for a goal, was waving for a goal, actually. And uh, that is an obvious handle ball. The Bonks doing him in there on that occasion to Harrigan. Trying his best there, Chamley, hoping to get something going. A substitution for Queen's Park. They're trying to get... Liam Young on the field. So Chamley comes off and Young is on for Queen's Park. Here he is, the young man, gets a chance to get an early touch. Makes a good pass, gets it up there to Grant. Grant trying to come forward with it, can't get the handle on it, and is being denied at every turn. That's going to be a free kick to Jinga. They really have to figure out how to put the ball in the back of the net. I think uh, the way that ball struck, it struck the underside of the bar, but it came down, but it didn't come over the line. The referee's assistant looked like he was blowing for a goal, but I really don't think the ball came over the line. He has a shot first time effort again from Gomez. But he hit it wide, he pulled it wide. Uh, but I really don't think the ball did cross the line in all fairness. Uh, it hit the bar and came down, uh, but it bounced forward. It didn't bounce backward to go beyond the line. And uh, eventually it was cleared away. I was surprised with the eventual call that was made. It looked like it was a call for offside. And the ball is still being placed outside the goal area. The referee's assistant still has his flag up. He's asking him to bring the ball back in behind the line or on the line at least. And uh, eventually I think they got it there. Now here is Harrigan. Trying to get the ball upfield. Ball played in and uh, taken over the line for another throw in Queen's Park on the move now. <laughs> trying to get the ball upfield quickly and uh, Thompson coming through and uh, taking possession. Ball played in, and now this is Gomez. Can he get the ball, get the handle? He is brought down, and that should be a free kick. It is. And again, Rowe having uh, his hands full with the speed of Gomez, deciding to take him out as quickly as he possibly can before he got into the area. 
the referee is having a word with him, referee or yes. probably just telling him to be careful. And uh, even then, I thought the referee, like he was trying to play an advantage, was hoping to see if Rue, see if Gomez rather, would stay on his feet. But now it's an opportunity here for them to get this one in before. Darren Defoe with the with the the to be the provider here for Jinga. The four red shirts in the area. Here he goes, and it's just wide. Nobody could get the header on. And uh, climbing there, trying to get to it, but not able to. And it's going to be a goal kick, but they're also going to make a substitution as well. Jinga. Aidan Bernard is getting ready to come on. So coming off is Louisa, who I thought has been was having a pretty good game. And but Bernard is, is going to take over from him and immediately gets a, a touch. But he can't control it first time. He does get it back though. There's an early ball and they have possession once again. Turning. Opportunity to shoot over the bar. It goes once again from Niels so the kicking shoes just not on this time all the shots powerful but not on target so now they're going to take their breeder for their regular water break 51 minutes gone 51 and a half more than us gone in this encounter so it's still goalless between Queen's Park and Jinga